Welcome back to Tread on Sports. We're here at Kit Carson Park, which is one of the many recreational facilities that the city of Albuquerque provides. But we're not going to be looking at outdoor track or running around. We're going to be looking at indoor track and the Don Kirby Invitational hosted by the UNM track team recently. This was one of the largest track competitions UNM has ever hosted, and it featured one of the premier programs in the nation and from the University of Oregon and international competition from Juarez. Let's see what happened at the convention center. Josh Kerr, a distance runner for UNM, almost broke the four minute mile mark, recording his time in four minutes, 3.34 seconds. Should put him in good position for the NCAA championships later next month. Another highlight for the UNM track program was the men's 4x4 relay team that set a new school record, clocking in a time of 3 minutes and 11.66 seconds. After the race, I was able to catch up with, with the guys. What does it feel like to set a record? You know, it's awesome. It's such an honor, you know, it's, uh, having such a long record, you know, back in the 1984s. Just being able to break that and be able to be on the track to be allowed to do that, it's, it's just such an honor, man. I'm uh, grateful. The previous record, three minutes, uh, 12 seconds, 0.27. Is that a number that you guys had on your mind? How long had you been going after that? Well, I guess that's something that we've always wanted to do. But right now, I think we're, we were just focused on trying to improve our time in the conference because, like, we can still get a lot better. And I don't know, we're just trying to be the best we can be. We're just working hard. Was there any point during the race? Um, I believe you were third leg and then uh, uh, finishing up. At what point did you guys realize that, hey, we can get it this time? We, we, just, we just had confidence in ourselves, you know, we, we always pray after a four relay, you know, it, it got, got us got us hyped and, you know, we were mentally ready, you know, we were ready to get after it. You know, we, we, uh, we taught ourselves we can set a mark and, you know, we, uh, we, you know, like, we can do it. So it took, you know, over 20 years for the last record to fall. How long until you break this one? Hopefully we do it as soon as possible. It's just a matter of us getting better and hopefully getting our team and team championship. So just getting better and better every day. Wonderful. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Another event UNM had success in was the 800 meter run where Gavin Sleater was able to pass his teammate Christian Hansen down the home stretch. Adam Monroe was also close behind and he finished fifth overall in the event. One of the most impressive performance of the day, in my opinion, was Hannah Cuncliffe from Oregon. She set a collegiate all conditions record in the 60 meter dash, pushing a time of 7.07 .07 seconds. It was fast. Changing gears a little bit, we were at the Gladiators press conference where CFO John Lopez talked about the financial health of the organization. All right guys, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Uh, I'm going to talk about two things. As majority owner and CFO, I'm proud to announce that we are now officially debt free. Um, you know, for a year three company to be debt free at this point, uh, that's huge. That tells a lot about our ownership. Second part, we actually expand, expanded our ownership up and get more investors involved with this community. And we actually brought in one new owner, Dr. Balachande, which is right here in the front row. And uh, we're in our final negotiations with Jay Novacek, three-time Super Bowl winner of the Dallas Cowboys. We just oh, met with him up in Dallas, and uh, we're ready to sign this. We're getting real close. We're in the final, uh, final stages, and, and what Jay told me was the reason why he's investing is they've got a lot of stuff in Texas, but he sees the community here in Albuquerque as being very loving, and we really need to have something like this for our families and kids. So that meant a lot when Jay saw that and noticed it and now he's looking at coming in as one of our owners. Mr. Lopez went on to talk about how this team is truly a piece of the community and how he thinks the community really supports this team. We get the ability to have people like Coach B and Coach Meadow because of our community. And this community deserves to have something special to be proud of as Matt has talked about. And that's what we're doing every day. That's why we want the community to come out and experience such a big production that we're doing. It's all about the community, guys. So, you know, that's why we push it down to see these guys aren't coming just to play football. They're becoming because of Albuquerque. Hashtag, this is for you, Albuquerque. So keep that in mind, guys. The organization cares about putting a quality product on the field. And they talked about maybe signing a high-profile former wide receiver who's been in the news a little bit lately. Uh, we've offered Terrell Owens an official contract to play with the Duke City Gladiators Whoop! for this next right. season. Uh, we hope that Terrell uh, decides to come play. We hope to have him during the season, and uh, we'd be blessed to have him, uh, certainly, in his skill set. So. 
Head coach Dominic Bramante was asked why having a quality team is important here in Albuquerque. Our goal this year, 2017, is to be a worthy team for the city of Albuquerque. That's our goal. We want to have a team that the city of Albuquerque is proud of, will embrace, and will support. So our, our roster is, is, is in place. We're real excited about some of the players that we have uh, signed. Um, we're only bringing back approximately five players from last year's team. So it's going to be a whole new roster. With the Gladiators having their first exhibition game this Saturday, you might be wondering how to get tickets. Here's John Lopez with information about that. We've made it easier this year for tickets. You can actually go to either our website at DukeCityGladiators.com and uh, get on the tickets there. Or you can go to uh, GladiatorTix, T-I-X. Dot com and something else very special that you can get on there is sign up for our new Gladiator Football Academy for kids that's going to be hosted in Tingley following the home games uh, this year for our kids. We really want to get engaged with our community and our kids and they're going to be taught by the superstars that we're introducing you. They're actually going to be the ones hosting the, the clinic. So get to DukeCityGladiators.com so you can do it. Coming up on Tread on Sports here on ProView 26, we're going to catch up with Coach Neal and have a look in at that press conference everyone is talking about. But first, let's see if you can get this trivia question right. Stay tuned. 